What's going on, guys? Welcome back to your creepy family unit. This is your creepy Uncle Vito. And welcome back to Decca. Well, what actually may be the uh, finale of Decca. I actually am not sure. I know the download size of this wasn't too big. Um, I actually don't know how much farther I got to go. But I do know. Okay. Find three black candles and turn off the flame. Okay. What the heck? Heard woman crying. Alright, that's fine. I mean, that's not, that's not fine! Women crying, not fine! Sorry. Okay. What I'm gonna do... Why am I hearing hissing? Or whispering, I should say. Is that... Whispering. Is that whispering like when I'm near a candle? God damn it. Okay, I'm turning the sensitivity down my mouth. <sighs> Zombie bro, can you fuck off? <sighs> Sorry. That whispering's gotta mean the black candle. Get out of this. Okay. Where? Okay, it sounds like it's coming through the wall. Okay, so I just gotta listen for the hiss. Okay, or the I, why do I keep calling it a hiss? It's not a hiss. It's whispers. Okay, I gotta. I'm gonna run to. Uh oh, here another one. Aha! Okay, this is a little easier than I thought. Okay, so the last one should be out here somewhere. Jeez, uh, okay. Huh. That, that was actually really easy. Activate the candles, now what? Find the key in the red room. Red room. Hang on, there's a map in here. Oh no, it was back there. Damn it! Sorry, one second. Go back. Go to a map. Okay, red room. Uh -huh. Red room, red room. Oh, the key was back over there. Okay, so I gotta find the key in there. Okay, what I'm going to do real quick is just bolt all the way to the safe room in here. Save, and then go to the red room. Saved. Now, zombie bro out there? Yeah, I'll just see him. Oh, right. Okay, don't move. Saved right there. Well, I made a mistake. Sorry! Let me turn around. Get back over here. That shit is like insanely loud. Hang on, let me turn that down to my ears. Damn. Well, I explained that my volume up too damn high. That was really loud in my ears. Yeah, let me get out of here. Please. Shit. Okay. Crawly bro's gotta be in the red room somewhere, so I gotta find the.
Yeah, I'm not seeing Crawly, bro. Aha! Come on. Get up. Lockbox key to open the safe. Okay, let me get back to the safe thing. Go back to the map. Open the safe. Where was the safe? Okay. Hang on. Let me go map, map, map. Okay. So, it just says open the safe. Um, control point, stairs, stairs. Open the safe. Wait, I think there was a... Wasn't there another safe in the uh, main office? Okay. Alright, let me go back to the little main office thing by the maintenance room. Because I think there was another side thing there. Right, let me just bolt. Not going to worry about stealth here too much anymore. I think I'm nearing the end of the... Hey! There's Crawly Bro! That actually scared the shit out of me! Ah, oh, that is actually very disturbing. I gotta keep tapping. Oh, that is disturbing. <laughs> that? Okay, that noise was a lot creepier than anybody else. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the safe is not in here, is it? I wouldn't think it's. I wouldn't think so. Let me save real quick while I'm here, just in case I am very wrong. Okay. I still hear growls coming in from the left, so I'm gonna give this a second, then I'm gonna go to the office. Make sure that crawly bro goes back. Or I'll just go now. Yeah. Lift key. Find a way to escape. Oh! Okay. Go to the, the lift. It's gotta be somewhere in here, right? Hang on. Okay, let me go to a map. This is the lift. Stairs, stairs. The only thing I can think of is I go in here... Head right, and then head right again, past office two. Bro. Yep. <sighs> okay, I think that's where the lift is. I think the lift is here. I don't know, we'll see. I hope this is not the literal end of the game, because that's a short episode. If anything at that, I should have just kept going up with the previous episode. Okay. Alright, let's wait for Big Bro to fuck off. Or I'll just go again! Alright, just bolt. Really? Coming this way. Um. Crap. I gotta wait. Okay, there he is. Please head back like you're going to that save room. No? Shit. Damn it! Should I just risk it? Well, I saved right there, so I'll be alright. Lift, lift, lift. There's space when you have the key. Why did you, wait, why did you stop there? Am I going to be descending further into this? Is this only like the first half of the game? 
I can't move my mouse. I can't move around. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was funny, actually. Okay. Okay. Got labyrinth shit. Oh, God, that's not labyrinth anymore. What's this? Now, if I say, welcome, Alice Parker, I did not wait for you to survive the truth. Your evil... Sp now, if I can say... Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. Now if I can say, welcome Alice Parker. I did not wait for you to survive the truth. Your evil spread like a cancer in the depths of your soul. It is necessary that you forget everything you did so you can judge with naive eyes. That watchman who hanged himself did not stand seeing his own acts. But you, well, you're still alive. An accomplice of a morally rotten, comp of a morally rotten company, you've been an extension of the evil that we all have in our interior. The monster that your eyes see... God, I cannot fucking read today, I'm sorry. The monsters that your eyes see you create yourself with your actions roam free like black beasts in your conscience. Alice Parker, renowned surgeon, render her services to... Too late. You have to leave now, or they will come. Go away. End. Okay, apparently we're having a short episode. I have just finished Decca in a matter of ten minutes. Okay. Well, I finished up. I didn't finish entirely. Okay. That actually wasn't bad. I, I do feel bad that I... I should have just kept going after the third uh, episode. And just kind of finished it up. But I, I thought there would have been at least another 30 or 40 minutes left. And I would have just finished it up there. But I was, I was impressed. This game is really, really creepy. I was like, there's a few moments that I was terrified to keep moving. However, as with a lot of other horror games, the more you kind of keep pushing, the less scared you are. Eventually, some of the creatures became annoying. The Crawly Bro, he ended up being, like, disturbing. Like, he, he, he made your, like, he made you feel small. Like, he made you, like, shrivel up. I, I, I liked him. Big Bro, the first guy we dealt with, that, that dude was just easy to surpass. Zombie bro became the annoyance. Crawly bro became creepy. And that was it. Realistically, you could beat this game in the matter of, like, maybe ten minutes. If you know exactly where to go. So speed running this game is a possibility. It's just the sprint mechanic is going to make it difficult for anybody to do speed runs. And I like that. I do like the fact that it limits your uh, sprint meter just because it makes you feel like... Oh shit, I ran out of stamina, I'm gonna die. It's gonna make you panic. And I like that aspect of it. So, do I think this is a good game? Yeah, it's a good game. Do I think it's a great game? No. No. Way too short. I was confused on a few things as far as... Who, I'm about to say who Alice Parker was. I mean, I knew she was a surgeon and stuff like that. But as far as her backstory, were we playing Alice Parker? We were playing somebody else. Who were we? That's one thing I didn't know. Like, who were we? The level design, really well done. I liked it. It was a small game. It was relatively inexpensive. I think I probably didn't even pay $5 for it. But I was impressed. I was very well impressed. It was really good. I look forward to another game this company makes because their creature design is really good. I like it. I like the creature design. The ambiance, the score, the sound. That's what made this game really good. It made it to where this game could, like, somehow get into your spine and just make you just shrivel up. The sound is what made this game really good. The creature design made it a little bit better. Level design, solid. Graphics, not bad. You have to play with the settings a little bit because there can be some stutters. And it does take a second or two to kind of load in the textures. But I am very well impressed with this game. I really am. For what I paid for it, I was expecting it to be, eh, okay, but I'm hoping they either do a DECA 2 and continue on with this story, 
or some other game. I'm going to look and see what other games this developer has made, but I was very well impressed. All right, you know what? Regardless, hope you enjoyed yourself with the Creepy Family. And this has been your Creepy Uncle Vito playing the finale of DECA. Hope you all have a good one.